What's up, lovers? Today I'm making a video about, I think it's an important one because some of you guys still don't get the concept, I think. And so the video is going to be about why you should ignore women. I mean, the, the bitches, I'm going to call them the bitches. Why you should ignore them and why when you stop caring, that's when it seems like she wants you. It's nuts. But I'm going to try to explain it. So this video is just going to be about explaining why women are like that. Four things that you need to know about women that I don't know if you're aware, but here they are. Women want an alpha male. It's a fact. They want somebody that's going to be like more masculine, somebody that's going to tell them kind of like what to do, that can guide them, kind of, I don't want to say control, but like that is the man. He controls what's going on in the household, you know? Women want that. So for you, if you're just like on your shit, right there, you can do that. Number two, what they want is validation. So they want compliments. They want all that shit. Number three, a lot of women want what they can have. It's a fucking fact. They can have some, something really good at home, but they're going to see something else and be like, I want that. Like, because they can't have it. And the fourth one, I, I don't like saying that, but it's true. Women are emotional. So once you know that about women, that already helps you to deal with them. You need to realize is that for a lot of women, once you start like being pressed about her, being all about her, she's going to be like, you're not that attractive anymore. It's weird, but it's mental. The more you're going to show her that you like her, I'm talking about a woman that don't know her value and that's like, you know, kind of like playing games and all of that. Because I feel like a real woman that know what she wants, once you show her that you're really into her, like if she's into you, she's not going to play those games. But the one that don't know her value, she's going to be like, is not attractive anymore. Like all of this sudden, just because you're, you're pressed about her, you're not going to be attractive. And then you're going to find yourself acting like, why you don't want to see me? Why you don't pick up the phone? And now you sound like a pussy. I'm sorry. And I'm not saying that you are a pussy. I'm saying to her, you're going to sound like a pussy. And she doesn't want a pussy because we already decided that a woman want an alpha male. So right there, you're kind of like on the downhill of like being kicked out. So what you need to do is to stop obsessing over her because she's just a woman. Not saying women is not something great, but it's like the more you're going to focus on yourself, the more she's going to be focusing on you. So it's a win-win. You can focus on what you're doing with your life while she can focus on what uh, she wants from you and what uh, she needs to get from you, you know? So that is what you should be doing when you deal with those women that want to play game, that want to play hard to get, that want to do all that dumb shit. That's what you do. And again, if the women act, start acting like she wants uh, something else or like you, you find yourself begging for time, I mean, cause you can, I mean, you're human, but once you realize that you just fall back, you don't show up at her house. You don't be texting, calling crazy. You just fucking fall back. It's easy. I mean, I'm saying it's easy. If your feelings are involved, it's not that easy, but I mean the shit I be doing if, cause I feel like sometimes I need to fall back and not as like playing games, but just because yo, I'm doing all of this shit and he's not really responding. Like he's probably looking at me like, yo, I don't like that or oh, she's becoming unattractive or whatever the case is in his mind because you'll never know what people actually think what i do because sometimes i know i don't have any self uh restraint is i delete the fucking number how am i gonna call you if i don't get your number how am i i mean you can still always dm because you can find it but then if i dm that means i deleted your number and that doesn't look good because it's like why are you dming me why you're not texting me you have my number so she's gonna know that you're kind of like deleted her number so now you're reaching out through dms so what i do i delete the number i delete it and i think you should do if you know that you cannot help yourself and you're gonna use the fucking number delete the number delete her from your contact so then the only way you're gonna hear from her again is when she fucking texts you it might not happen for a minute it might never happen but do you want somebody that's like not really ready to chase you or show you any type of interest and it's always on your eyes i say ice you guys might not know that expression but it's always on your on 
it's it always falls on you to make shit happen like it's annoying i'm talking like i'm a dude today but but i mean dudes do that too so i'm talking about girls but dudes do that too and this is really frustrating because it's like you gotta just do you and like the more you focus on yourself the more she's gonna want you which is weird but it's like you show her you want her, she don't want you. You show her you don't want her, now she wants you. And why? Because we know that women want what they can't have. Dumb! And again, what you need to do is never act like you're depressed. I mean, maybe it's hurting your feelings and you got to share. But I'm telling you, sharing your feelings is going to, if you're dealing with those type of women, they're going to look at you like you're a pussy. So don't share your feelings. Just, I mean, I know it can be... Uh, depressing and shit like that and you're at home and you're like damn I miss her I do not care do not call do not text do not go on her IG looking for the her pictures or video like reminiscing of the good times that she got had nobody gives a fuck like at least at the moment she don't give a fuck so and again what you need to put in your mind is that she's not realizing that you are good she feels like she's better than you and once the bitch starts feeling like she's better than you, why do you want to be with somebody like that? You want to be with somebody that value you, that, be like, that, that feels like you're bringing something good to her life. She can bring something good to yours. Like it's, it's a balance. It's not like just she's here and you're there and you got to always try to raise up to her. No, the bitch is on the same fucking level and you guys meet right here. Like there is no like, let me do this and that. No, why is it always like that? Like to me, it's crazy. But a lot of women feel like I need to be on the pedestal and be this and that and he needs to do whatever I need. No, bitch, he doesn't need to do shit for you. How about you do it for yourself? It's crazy. I don't know why I get so upset, but you guys, like, you be telling me some fucking stories and I'm like, what type of bitches are you guys dealing with? Like, you need to fucking chill on those girls and go find something better because this is crazy. Also, what you do, I am sure you are dealing with some women that actually want you and that you might not really want. But I believe like maybe you should focus on the women who want you. I try to focus on the men that want me because I don't want to go again and again like acting like I gotta chase the motherfucker. Like why am I chasing a motherfucker? Like it's like at some point you guys need to put back in your head and ask yourself, who the fuck am I? Why am I allowing this bitch to treat me like that? To treat me like I'm a, I don't know how you guys say it second class citizen and i it's okay i need to prove no you don't need to prove nothing you are how you are she sees it she likes it or she doesn't if she doesn't she can get the fuck out and if she does she stays around but you don't need I, again don't get that uh misconstrued with like um bettering yourself because everybody gotta get better like we're not perfect we are always uh, a work in progress but do not allow a woman to make you feel like you're less than, that you're like less than her. I'm like, bitch, who do you think you are? Why do you think you're better than me? And when you think about it, what does she have? Probably just looks. So, because you're pretty, you think that you're better than me. Guys, come on. Don't let them fucking play you. Like, that's just like the, the mind game that they be playing. And you guys sometimes are just so thirsty because the bitch is so pretty that you allow that shit. And I really think that's why this dating shit is fucked up because a lot of people are accepting a lot of things that shouldn't be accepted. So then it becomes a new norm. I don't know. Like, nowadays, guys want to be chased. I'm like, okay, that's what you want. That's not really the norm, but everybody now is acting like no i gotta be chased same for the women women think well i got the body you gotta pay for my shit so and a lot of you guys are doing it a lot of women are doing the chasing so now everything is fucked up it's just the society that that fucked up everything kind of but yeah but i think if everybody wasn't allowing all this fucked up shit to happen then it would be better for you. And this chase thinking, you know, I'm not trying to be hypocritical. I remember like when I was younger, it was like some dudes would get my number. I wouldn't really be uh, too excited about, you know, I wasn't excited about them. I don't know. And then they chased me. I wasn't really responsive. I always respond to text messages, but I wasn't like trying to hang out or whatever. Then one day I decided, okay, let me go hang out. 
we hung out it was a good time and then as soon as i showed him that i was kind of like interested he pulled away so maybe it was revenge because i gave him a hard time or maybe he was just playing games because he was like yeah bitch like now you want me now i don't want you i, I don't know but this whole thing is crazy but again that's why i'm telling you when the girl start acting like she's better than you you got to show her that she's not better than you and that you don't give a fuck what you need to do when this girl comes back around after like you you put your distance you got to make it hard for her hard for her to come back because now when she's gonna see you she's gonna be on her best behavior her best fucking behavior because she's gonna be like oh i'm lucky he gave me he is giving me some time today let me be on my best behavior she's gonna be eating you want some baby i'm not hungry no more have it you know she's gonna be just so fucking nice because she knows that she was on the verge of losing you so now she needs to be on her best behavior and also like i said when you deal with this type of woman never let them get you emotional like you know because they are testing you and they want to see how much they can manipulate you so if she does something a little crazy and you react she's gonna be like okay i can manipulate him or um or like you know she's gonna create a situation and then she's gonna ask you to come fix it again no why do you have to come to her aid when she's the one who created the fucking situation don't do that like no bitch you're gonna we're grown here you're gonna handle your fucking shit and i'm gonna handle mine and i'm not saying again again i am gonna say i'm talking about them bitches that feel like everything is due to them but if that's your girl and that's a, a good woman obviously you can help her when there is some shit happening in her life i'm not saying don't help your girl i'm talking about those women that want to play the game too hard to get or pulling away or i deserve i'm better than you all these women you need to treat them like that oh you got an issue oh damn i hope you you can figure it out like do not come to the aid you are not captain save a hole like she needs to handle her own shit like she's grown she can do it why would you go this way so baby want to come to finish the video maybe look that's baby she snores a lot she looks like me maybe okay go so i think that's it silence will make her think about our actions and then um she's gonna be like what's going on why is he doing this and she's just gonna realize that whatever she was playing is not working and she's gonna come back and chase you because women actually love to chase and they love to chase because they're looking for validation and they're looking for attention so by being silent she's gonna start thinking about her own actions and why you're not hitting her up and that's gonna drive her crazy and then that's when you come and you know take her back and but you make it hard for her or you don't take her back because you don't you decided you don't want to deal with this type of woman or yeah you take her back and then right there she's going to be on her best behavior so she's going to be like you can jump in that pussy and then you just jump in it and you win all right so those i mean i know it's an unconventional uh, video i didn't do it like with the points but a lot of you guys are asking me why she does that why she does that and i'm telling you it's because women play games and it's weird the more you show her that you don't like her the more she's gonna like you if you deal with those type of women so just do that and and you're in the in the pussy all right that's it guys that's all for today hopefully you like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram at many love xo and at melly monaco I'll talk to you later. And again, if she starts pulling away and playing game, just ignore the bitch. Ignore her. You deserve better. You know better. Don't play. Don't play with her. Like, don't, don't allow her to play you. All right, guys? I'll talk to you later. Lovers.